Egyptian bread. Pinch of salt, doesn't matter what salt it is, in the bowl. Two cups of these, I do, I've done it to about here. But two cups, whatever you prefer, how much you want to fill up. Remember where you filled it up, plump it in. Then one cup of this in here, plump it in. Then a cup, um, same amount of warm water and start mixing with a spoon and then gradually use your hands. It's going to get messy. But if you need to use a little bit of flour, just use it occasionally until it becomes a dough. On the next stage now, I'm trying to mix it. We've done our best, but we need to get everything off the bowl, every bit of crumb, if we can. So I'm going to make it into a dough. I'm going to get to that stage next. Let's do this. It might be sticky at first, but keep doing it until you've got it all together. So you have to clean the bowl and niggle it like this. You have to clean around the whole bowl with the, flat, with the bread now. So you've got to make it. And you've got to make sure when you buy the, the, the bread, the flour, it's got to be bread mix. And I'll show you the magic after this. Because we're not using yeast. My mix, um, if you want to know, two cups of flour, one cup of warm water, a bit of salt, one of these in a cup, in. And I did a bit, a bit of spice, I put a bit, a bit, a bit of flavour It's in there, anyway. And now we're going to get a baking tray. Um, and we're going to get a greaseproof paper on top. Or we're going to grease our, actually going to grease our baking tray. The whole baking tray with some butter. Let's go and do that now. It's got a bit of butter on some greaseproof paper. I'm just going to line it up now. Spread it all over. And I get your dough. Um... Don't add any flour after this. Um, you're going to put it into desired shapes now. And it's going to go on here. We're not cooking it tonight. I'm going to show you in a minute what's going to happen. But yeah, put it into the shapes that you want. Any shape you want. Just doing my shapes now. Just want to point out when you're making this, it'll be like this. So don't add flour to this. Just make it into a shape, like proper shape. Use both hands, make it into a shape. Uh, so I'm putting some on there, some big ones, small ones, just random shapes. Yeah, so it's going to be like this. Don't add any flour, because it'll be too dry. Now I've done my uh, shapes. I'm going to put it in the oven. Oven's off, remember, the oven's off. I'm going to put it in the middle. Time now is, let's see, time now is 11.25, so I'm not going to close it, oh. and when you get up in the morning to have your breakfast, it's doing gas mark for, time it for exactly 25 minutes, no more, no less, and it should be done. I'll see you in the morning guys, to be a quick video, so get me in the morning, see it done. Make sure you clean your mess up after you've done it. I've got to clean my mess up. But yeah, just that. Flour. And the magic will be... The magic, because you ain't got no yeast. Uh, the magic will happen during the night while you're asleep. Because the temperature during the night in the oven, I don't know what happens. It's just something special. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you do it in the summer or winter. But yeah, something magical happens. And then don't open the oven door. Whatever you do, do not open it. Leave it closed. So as soon as you get up in the morning, turn it on. But I'll show you on that in the next video in the morning. Guess mark four. I don't know what it is in front of, but you might have to translate that. Uh, and now it's risen. It's got steam up because of the heat. It has risen since last night, so yes, it's doing its job. I'm um, just waiting for it to cook. Just waiting for 25 minutes and it's done. I'm out lovely. I've done an extra five minutes because I'm not sure about it. It's Egyptian bread. Easy to cook. It's come out nice. Yeah, nice and spongy. Try to cool down before I eat it. it smells quite nice actually. Mmm, can't wait to eat it.